Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing Attack on Titan. This is season two, episode 12, the final episode of the second season. Can't believe we're here already. The last one ended on, huh, surprise, surprise, a, a cliffhanger, I would definitely call it. So much went down, we talked about it a lot. And at the very end, this Titan showing up that we haven't seen since the first episode of the series, the Titan that ate Eren's mom. What's the significance there? I, I just want to jump into it. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, let's do it. And you can, of course, always... <laughs> God damn it. And you can, of course, always check out our full length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions for Attack on Titan at the moment where we are several episodes ahead. It's all over on Patreon and the link is down in the description below. And here we go. Oh? <laughs> Well, guess who's back? <laughs> guess who's back in the house? Sorry. Where's that from? <laughs> RuPaul. Oh. Okay. I thought you were gonna go with the guess who's back, back again, like the whole Eminem yeah, reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but no. no, you went two different ways. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Another round. I got mad when I just for a second thought that they were gonna take my Irvin away from me. <laughs> <laughs> my little Irvin. Oh yeah, I, I, I can see that. How are you still? Oh no no no! No! Oh fuck 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 fuck! Don't you? Fucking do it! Oh no, this is this is when it happens. No, 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 no. Of course, because he didn't, he ran away last time. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh, okay, battle is still, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> うん。<laughs> oh shit. Oh no, yeah, don't. It's not happening. No. Fuck, no, no. Dude, you can't stop. No. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Not in the same way as last, but come on. <sighs> At least he got to die first.
He's controlling them? What? Oh, that's why he's so fucking important. How the... Okay, so the coordinate is something you have. So it's his, uh, it's the key, oh. right? Oh. Fuck. Have fun. Safe asshole. なんで俺たちのところに来た私がバカだからだな里帰りの土産になってやってんだよお前らがこの壁を壊しに来なければ私はずっと冷めない夢を見てたんだありがとうユミルすまない<笑> ハンジだうんはいでシスレするよエルヴィン今回の巨人の発生源と言われとったもなかはいあの仮説の信憑性がますばかりでしてその報告にわおあれファーメンでも帰りには損害がなかった巨人が僕らを無視してライナーたちに
Who the what the fuck? Not, fu Not yet. Oh damn! Okay, that was a good ending. Like setting up a lot of stuff, but still, it 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 felt like an end to the to the season at least. Mm. Now we are one step closer to the truth. And, and, and yet we are so far from it. <laughs> so far from it. Oh, there are hundreds of steps still, like to take <laughs> towards the truth. And I, I was curious. I was gonna bring it up, of course, but the monkey, the monkey? beast titan. Where, what has it been doing since we saw it's it last? Just, and it's just, just sitting there chilling on top of the wall. Yeah, and the person who was standing on top of it, is that another person or is that the person who's actually inside of the the monkey and he was just, you know, just outside of it for a moment, just like we saw in Mia do uh, previously. Or maybe not. Maybe it is just a, a whole new person, a whole new character that we've never seen before. Either way, that person said, not yet, eh? Not yet what? What does that refer to? I'm fairly certain we're not supposed to figure that one out <laughs> right now. Oh, wow. Uh, woo, a lot happened again in this episode. And it's just this this whole season, season two, even though it was like only 12 episodes, it's it's been a ride. And it's been like constantly pedal to the metal all the way through it. At least that's what it feels like. And there was like no time to just stop and take Collaborate a breather. Collaborate listen. <laughs> no, when it lies, no. Stop and then take a breather. Uh, it just, everything could just go wrong at any any minute, any moment. And, and people just had to act quickly. There were a lot of revelations in the span of a, a few days for the story <laughs> um, and, and we end with the whole now we're at least one one step closer as, as we already mentioned um, and yet not and and then yeah it doesn't really feel like we've gotten maybe just yeah for the people for erwin and and all the others you know who are pursuing the truth and just wants to find out what the fuck all this is about you know, you, you could definitely see it as a victory, but it's still extremely tragic. Like they mentioned how they lost half of the veterans of the scouts and they lost so many people willing to risk it for Eren. Why is Eren so important? Yada yada. Sort of found out in this. Like we, he's not the coordinate. Like he has the coordinate. And yes. How do you get that? What is it exactly? Or Could it be the key that he's carrying, carrying around? Well, Grisha said that all of the, like literally every answer to everything is with that key or in that basement. Um. So maybe. maybe. Yeah, but why would like would the key give him powers? And does he still have like? Did he swallow it, or is that you know? Does those powers come from the injection that? His father gave yeah, him. Yeah, must have been right. And and then, just those powers in general, like things were really not looking good at that at one point in in the episode, and and right when we we called it, but it still really hurt seeing it with Hannes, how he wasn't able to avenge Aaron's mom. Mm. He tried his best, and he got taken taken out in the exact same way. But he at least he got to die before he was chewed and swallowed. You know? Yeah, yeah, so, so, same as Aaron's mom. It's yeah. It was kind of merciful in that way. I I I, I guess. Um, and the last thing he saw was just Aaron and Mikasa. That's so. Oh, that's so fucking tragic. That that's the last thing he saw, and he probably thought that I failed. Now they're gonna die. Everyone's gonna die, and I I failed his entire family twice now. That yeah. uh, oh, going out like that, that that really sucks. I also would like to think that he know, he he knew that Evren and Mikasa would not give up up without a fight, and sure. like really, hopefully he was like optimistic, and yeah, I don't know. It just uh, like I, I can don't totally know what... get what you mean, but 
Yes, one can only hope that there was just a little bit of optimism in there, or at least he, he thought in his last moment that Aaron and Mikasa, they're still going to fight and they might still pull out of this, um, but I, I failed still. And, he yeah. didn't seem it, overly frightened or like he didn't... He just seemed, dis he looked disappointed. Slightly. Just, um, or sad. and just, Either way, that, that was tough to watch um, yeah. and him dying like that but then Aaron like he couldn't turn into a titan and then yeah Mikasa talked to him real quickly and, and that was you know sort of sweet and romantic and I, I'm I'm still I have to admit I'm still not a big fan of you know the the songs with lyrics being thrown in there because it just it takes me out of it just a little bit I'm, I'm more of a just go with the score just give me a really good score you don't have to throw in lyrics and, and someone singing, but it was still a very emotional part of the episode. Mikasa sort of professing her love in a way to Eren or her devotion to Eren and how much he means. And also the fact that no, Eren, you haven't failed your entire, mm -hmm. like you are not useless, not at all. Look at what you've done for me. And that gave him, that extra push to, you know, just stand up against the, the fucking Titan. Yeah. And at first I was like, wow, did he just get really strong? Like he was able to stop the Titan and it was just <laughs> what was about to happen there. And then all the other Titans just fucking rushed it. Yeah. But did you notice like even, even the people inside the Titans, they also got like a, oh shit, like. Oh yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. they felt something we, happening. We, we saw that like ye uh, yellow lightning yeah, flash yeah, yeah. happen again. So so what, you know, the thing we see when people turn into Titans, and that is then very closely related to the Titan powers, and it still was a sort of a Titan power just without turning into one, he was con controlling them. Remote control. I, Remote I told control. you. It, it ha it's, it, you it's brought happening. it up and then and then you went away from it again and then you went back to it again. And it, it, yeah, it's, it's now it's it's a reality that they can apparently be remote controlled. You can control them in some way. So yeah, now we've seen at least Aaron do it straight up. We have a sneaking suspicion that the monkey might it's also able to do it, yeah. able to do it and, and, and control Titans, maybe not in, in the same way as Eren. I don't know if that's like extremely unique, the, the whole coordinate thing. And I don't I know, know if that is the coordinate thing, though. The, the, that power? Yeah. I, I would um, guess that, you know, it might be related to it also because Reiner was like, I can't believe of all people in this world, you get this power. Aaron, it shouldn't be like he was really fucking mad about it and like almost on a personal level and he knows something about this coordinate and this power okay um that's what he was saying when he was running towards yeah, yeah I, did, I, I guess i just heard something or like understood it somehow else but yeah, yeah okay yeah but i just thought it was kind of <laughs> uh I, I don't know it was a little bit i don't know how to explain why like, i don't have the vocabulary for it but when tiny Aaron was kind of punching that um big titan big titan and the fist was just like Ew. <laughs> and then he was just like <laughs> and then nothing happened and it was just it was a little bit c comedic in a way i think but all other cool stuff happened but you know it was just like this <laughs> for, for a short second there it was a bit comedic. yeah yeah, yeah a little okay. bit yeah because okay, yeah. his tiny hand was just like Ew. <laughs> you know when you like with kids and you hold their heads like also that we saw Hannah's do on and oh and the Aaron? Flash, yeah when they when they're like Ew! and then you hold their head and they can't reach you and you just mm. like <laughs> you can't reach it was a bit like that in a way. okay yeah um, and then yeah it got rushed and and eaten yes the Titans even like all on their way back from from that whole like hell of a battle they were in none of the titans on, on the way back was trying to eat them like no. they, they were just ignoring them and still running after Reina mm -hmm. and Berthold and, and Emiya and I guess we, we should also talk about Emiya before we you know like talk about what happened when they 
kind of got back after everything is Mia made a choice again. And I think very much spurred from spurred on from what Historia sets mm. and, and kind of telling Emiya something that Emiya told Historia mm. before. Don't live for anyone else, live for yourself. And I think that also like the reason why, one of the reasons why Emiya was willing to let Historia just go with the others, go with the, the scouts back and, and not with, with Emiya was because now because of Eren mm -hmm. there is some sort of hope inside yeah. of the walls yeah. it's not just going to be a living hell mm. in there uh, so I can you know I don't need to protect her in the same way she will be protected and now it's more about me what I should do me personally mm. and felt like she owed Lina and, and Bertolt something yeah so went with them and being like, well, at least you will have me. I, I don't want you guys to go back empty handed. <laughs> Basically what she was saying. So that kind of goes against character in a way, because she suddenly made a choice and she did something that was not for herself. Like that was she actually, well, she kind of lives for someone else right now. She lives for them right now. Yeah, I, I, I guess like if you, you can definitely interpret it that way as, as well but you know not living solely for historia and letting everything be about you know mm. protecting historia even though she also admitted that the whole thing about capturing her capturing her and taking her with them now was like more of a selfish reason but that could also just have been something that she said because there was this whole back and forth with Izumiya telling the truth or Izumiya lying um, and, and the reason why she really wanted to take Historia away from the others was because, no, she cannot go back to those walls because it's it's mm, going to be a, a living hell. But now that that's an, an option and she's fine with that, then, yeah, she, she can go and do this other thing with Aina and Berthold. And I, I, I still really want to go back with them and yeah, see, see what the hell their is hometown. Up. And I really have a feeling that that's at least something we're going to get into in season three really excited in general about getting into season three we are though gonna um, watch a couple of ovas before we get into the first part of season three we're gonna do lost girls part uh, one and two before uh because it's yeah on the list that we have the viewing order but okay is there anything else to talk about you know with what happened on the field there besides you know all the people dying unfortunately and all the tragic stuff no i don't think so no all right then let, let's go back and to to the city and, and inside of the walls and erwin yeah well, of course he survived he's now missing an arm grew a nice little beard as well yeah and and then they well he can't shave it if he got if he, he's lost his good arm you know yeah, or, or well, have he to can, but it's learn how to shave with 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 the yeah. other. <laughs> and, but they talked about we already talked about like how they, they got one step closer to the truth, but how they they sort of did that was something that was going on sort of in the background during this season, and that was the the whole thing with Connie's hometown and the mystery there, like where are the people mm. and. We, we sort of guessed it early on that, holy fuck, what if all of these people got turned into titans? And they got turned into titans. And they fucking got turned into titans. And that's everyone that Connie fucking knew and grew up with in his, yeah. in his village and his family. Ah, poor, poor guy. And then him having to relay that message as well with Hanji to the others. Yeah. And then someone like Levi being like, fuck. I killed these people. I killed so many people. Yeah, I've been running around killing people all this time and not just like monsters, monsters yeah. soulless, mindless monsters. That's oh yeah, that that's a that's a big big thing right yeah. there, just being dropped on you, a big revelation. But now they they know that at least and, and there's there's a, a hopeful note there and the fact that they have Aaron and, and Aaron also again no pressure but 
a lot of this is now riding on you, man. As as Sean said, like everything we just sacrificed and has to be worth it. It has to mean something. And like you have to make it mean something. Mm. And he's still, you know, going the very much the okay, I'm gonna have it mean something, or I'm gonna make it mean something by exacting revenge on the people who have wronged us and me. And you know, still going that very angry revenge route but i guess that's just you know that's just Aaron. <laughs> that's just the way that he is um, and it's not a case of i'm gonna do whatever i can to save humanity and save mm. everyone no i'm gonna do whatever i can to punish and kill and yeah but I, I get it i get it it's 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 hard not to feel that way with everything mm. that has that has happened and all the tragic shit oh. do you have anything else you want to you want to add to this one I don't know. No, I don't think so. Might pick Just, up on a few things like yeah ne- next time, even though we're gonna go into some uh, some OVAs again and getting a small break from from the main story. Although I'm also sure that the OVAs that we're gonna be watching are gonna like have be linked in some way to the overall plot and story and mystery. Yeah, I think it's something about Mikasa. Hmm. And cool. someone else, like Lost Girls, so Mikasa and someone else. Yeah. Or yeah. S- some. Someone, yeah. Maybe yeah. Annie. Because I, 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 I'm curious to. I don't know if it's, I don't know, I don't know. I, I just know that Mikasa yeah, is yeah. part of it. We, we don't want to know too much before getting no, no, into no, 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 it no, no, and when it's taking place and, and all that. But Oh, man. What a fucking season. I think that's going to do it. Yeah. For this reaction and review of Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 12. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And we'll see you as soon as possible. Bye. Bye.